How's your jaw doing, Brian, after the surgery? Yeah, it's all right now. Yeah? Yeah. It's almost exactly a year ago that Brian Wright had his lower jaw replaced with bone taken from his leg. Surgery needed because he had a tumour in his mouth. <laughs> he's recovered well, but head and neck cancer has a high chance of returning, so he's part of a trial to test a vaccine made from his own tumour. A personal jab that should put his immune system on watch for the first sign of a relapse. He wasn't sure at first. If you have cancer in your throat, like, well, throwing up, and they're going to inject me again with that cancer, it just sounds, oh, no, you're not. But when you talk to people who neck to explain, it won't give you cancer back, it'll stop it coming. To make the vaccine, cancer cells are first removed from an individual patient. DNA mutations unique to the tumour are identified and then cut and pasted into a harmless virus. When the virus is injected into the body, it trains the immune system to target cancer cells, hopefully destroying them before they even form a lump. If we can train the immune system to pick those cancer cells that would otherwise lead to a relapse at a time when we can't even see them, then the chances of long-term survival for our patients is much higher. I'm quite excited about this, but I think the, the, all the data point in the right direction. Early results show all eight patients to receive the vaccine so far have remained well after several months, but two of another eight who weren't given the jab have relapsed. The vaccine they're using here is experimental, but the technology that lies behind it proved itself during the pandemic. AstraZeneca's COVID jab was made in a very similar way. And what about the mRNA technique that lay behind the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines? Well, it's being used elsewhere with very hopeful results against pancreatic cancer. Scientists in Oxford developed the AstraZeneca jab and are now working on a vaccine to treat prostate cancer. They're applying what they learned with COVID. The pandemic has helped and accelerated the development of a whole range of new vaccines. We learned about their safety in billions of people, whereas previously it had been in thousands. That's very helpful safety data to have. And it means that there will be a lot more investment now in fields like cancer, where we desperately need better therapies. Brian has a dose of his vaccine every three weeks, but he feels so good that right now he's off for a pint. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Liverpool.